this is number four, the extra credit number. So we have v of r, v as a function of r, is equal to a e uh, or q e q e to the minus r over lambda over four pi epsilon r. Okay. Lambda is a constant. Okay, so the first one is to figure out the electric field, yeah? So as you know, for the electric field, uh, straightforward, this is just negative the gradient of V. And in spherical coordinates, this is negative D over DR of Q over four pi epsilon V to the minus R over lambda over R. Now Q over four pi epsilon is just a constant. It can come outside the integral for the rest. I would have to do, and this is in the R direction. For the rest, I would have to do quotient rule. So this is Q over four pi epsilon uh, E, and there's a minus sign here. So E is just E minus R over lambda times the chain rule, which is minus one over lambda times the denominator, which is R minus the derivative of r is one times the top r over lambda divided by r squared in the r direction and so now we get e to be <coughs> q over four pi epsilon uh, let me factor out the e and the minus sign, I'll take it inside. So I will get lambda minus R. So a common denominator of the lambda yeah, over R squared times lambda. Uh, wait, this is, uh, yeah, lambda. And then here we have, uh, Lambda that cancels out. Yep. So we have that, and this is all in the radial direction. So this is the electric field. Is that what you got? And now we have to find the charge distribution. So one way to find the charge distribution is you know that uh, Gauss's law in differential form is the divergence of E is equal to rho over epsilon. This is coming from the boundary conditions. And so that means rho is equal to the divergence of E times epsilon. So now I could just figure out the divergence and uh, spherical coordinates. So then rho becomes Uh, epsilon actually we could cancel the epsilon with the epsilon so we have q over 4 pi uh, let's see what so the divergence in spherical coordinates would be uh, let me see the uh, 
the derivations in spherical coordinates is uh, the, there's no theta dependence or phi dependence. This is all zero. The R, the R dependence is one over R squared, D over DR of R squared times the radial component, which is E to the uh, minus R over lambda uh, times lambda minus R over lambda R squared. Uh, hold on a sec. Right? Uh, for the, the E field, I got, um, the E field is negative the gradient, right? Yeah. I got negative of the answer yet. I got um, e to the of r over lambda kq times. Uh, uh, I got that times. Uh, 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 times uh, r uh, r plus lambda over over that over r over lambda r squared. Uh, there's a minus sign which you have to flip the signs here. There's this minus sign. Yeah, there's that, but then isn't this uh, uh, I get, why did you put the R, the R squared over? To, uh, What's the, that? Uh, I got um, negative one over R squared times E to the negative R over lambda uh, minus one over R times E to the negative R, R over lambda over lambda. And uh, I multiply that by a minus sign. I mean, both of the both of the derivatives are negative because uh, for the in the product rule. Oh yeah, yeah, both both are negative. Correct. So uh, yeah, correct. I have a fine mistake. So this is plus. Okay, so back to this. So this is uh, that. So um, if we were to continue here, uh, this is Q over 4 pi, 1 over R squared, D over DR, R squared. Now this becomes uh, 1 over R squared uh, minus or uh, plus this is plus or plus or plus one over lambda times one over r uh, okay so far, so good. And then, uh, and then, of course, this is in the radial direction. This is in the radial direction. So I would get Q over 4 pi, 1 over R squared. And then here we have um, Uh, uh, we've got, uh, one now here we have to be careful because R equals zero would blow this up. 
So we would have to compensate for that. Uh, and the way we compensate for that um, Uh, where's my E? Uh, there's E minus R over lambda. Yeah, there's here E to the minus R over lambda. Okay, so. So if we FOIL this, we get uh, R squared goes away and we get uh, 1 plus R over lambda. And this is all in the radial direction. And there's a D over DR here. Okay, and so this becomes blue over four, one over r squared. Um, one over r squared, four, four, e minus r over lambda. Uh, one over lambda. Plus minus one over lambda e to the minus r over lambda times one plus r over lambda. So that's after differentiating. Um, this is wrong. Okay, and uh, let's see. So rho is equal to over four pi r squared. Uh, I could factor out e to the minus r lambda, r over lambda, and we have left one over lambda minus one over lambda minus uh, r over lambda square. So those two would go away and we get Q over four pi R squared uh, and R would cancel out here and we would get um, uh, minus R R lambda squared E to the minus R over lambda. Uh, right? This is the charge distribution as a function of R. That's what, what I have. Uh,
no integrating? Huh? There's no integrating? No, there is no integration here. You could just find it from the divergence of R. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. The divergence of E. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see if it checks and if we actually get zero for uh, all, but this blows up. At zero. 